When you are ready to do your V-stitch color changes, you are going to begin by getting the secondary color ready. I have my main color that I'm working with right now. And for the secondary color, I'm going to simply insert my hook into the next stitch, pull the secondary color out, like so. And then I'm going to pull through with the main color again. When I do that, and I'm going to pull my stitches in the back a little bit, when I do that, it creates a little V shape in the secondary color. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the main color for the next stitch. And in the following one, I'm going to pull that secondary color again pulling through and finish off with the main color. So yarn over and pull through those two loops. And there you see another little V. I'll do that a few more times. So I'm going to work that main color next and then pull through the secondary color. Like so pull through the main color, and there's my little V. When you work this, you can go ahead and alternate um, either, here I'm alternating a main color and secondary color every other stitch, but you can go ahead and do it however you'd like and space out the secondary color uh, more if you want to. It's totally up to you. And of course, you can also do this with um, a variety of different colors. So you can um, do one row in like a white secondary color and a different row in a, in a different color. All right. So again, I'm pulling through just the secondary color there. And I like to tug on the end a little bit when I finish the stitch. That way it will be nice and straight. Otherwise, if I don't pull on the tail, like so, you'll see that it's kind of a fat stitch. So I want to pull on it a bit to make it even out with the rest of the stitches in this row. And there you have it. You've got these nice little V or little heart shaped uh, color changes. And they're great for making polka dots or um, fun designs on your amigurumi. All right? Thanks so much, and I hope this technique is helpful to you. Bye now!